My name is Amanda Pope, and I attend Humboldt State University. I'm studying cellular molecular biology, and I'm really excited to be working with Dr. Stipp this summer at the University of Iowa. I'm one of the 10 students participating at University of Iowa's RU with the Evolutionary Sciences program. My foundational interest comes from when my grandfather passed away from pancreatic cancer, and from then I knew I wanted to work with cancer research to find a cure. Having the doctor tell us there's no cure, there's nothing we can do, this is it, this is X amount of months he has, to me that was unacceptable. From right then and there, I want to find a cure for pancreatic cancer, so nobody else has to undergo that same trauma of hearing, there's no cure, this is it. <laughs> this summer, I'm very excited to be working on two projects here at University of Iowa. The first project revolves around melanoma cancer cells and how some spontaneously arise to be resistant to some drug treatments. And my second project is studying pancreatic cancer cells and their increased resistance to fluid shear stress. Hello, my name is Chris Stipp and I'm a professor at the University of Iowa in the biology department and my lab studies tumor cell biology. The main research is centered around a theme of mechanisms of resistance, um, tumor cell resistance to targeted therapies or to mechanical insults and stress. We're interested in understanding how tumor cells evolve around these challenges and create clinical problems that are difficult to solve. One project revolves around melanoma cancer cells. We take resistant cells and introduce a green fluorescent protein in order to make them green under the microscope. We then mix them with clear, non-resistant cells. We mix these two cells together and compare the growth rates. We want to see if there is a growth advantage to being resistant. But the puzzle we keep facing is that the resistant cells keep going extinct. And we're not sure when they arise again if they're the same colonies as before or if completely new mutations have arise. In my other project, I will be studying the effects of mechanical stress on pancreatic cancer cells. We will be trying to replicate the mechanical damage the cells may face when entering the circulatory system in the body. This unique kind of mechanical damage is called fluid shear stress. It has been thought that cancer cells are mechanically sensitive, and once they enter the bloodstream, they will be broken apart due to the fluid shear stress in our veins. But what we have seen is that pancreatic cancer cells have a way of adapting and evolving to survive the mechanical damage. In order to figure out which gene is in control of this phenomenon, we insert a transposon called Sleeping Beauty in order to activate the gene that may not be turned on otherwise. We then expose the mutagenized cells to fluid shear stress and slowly select for the ones with the resistance genes. The goal would be for us to make a discovery that we can move into a phase one clinical trial. The strength of the melanoma program is that we have a strong um, clinical program. There's a, an opportunity to bridge that gap between the basic and translational side of the research to the clinical side um, because of the dynamic here. Um, it's not something that you experience everywhere.